Hey, this is Peter from Next on Web. Today I'm going to show you what kind of animations are available in Smart Slider 3. Let's start with the main animation of the slider. This is the basic sliding animation which moves your background images and layers. By default it is set to horizontal, as you can see it in the preview. But you can change it to vertical, fade or some other switching. It has several options at the main animation properties, but to see them all you need to turn on the expert mode. By changing the easing or the parallax you can see some interesting effects. The next kind of animation is the background animation. While the background animation animates the background, the main animation moves the layers. Another animation which animates the background image is the Ken Burns effect. It focuses on a part of the image. You can change the focus point by clicking on the specific part of the image. Background and Ken Burns animations are also available on the slides too. Save the slider configuration and go into one of your slides. You can select the specific animations for this slide's background image in the Animation tab. The background animation you select here will happen when you switch towards this slide. As you can see, the global background animation happens when you switch away. And the slide settings animation takes effect when you switch on this slide. The same thing applies to the Ken Burns effect. You can replace the effect on the slide. That's all about the background images. Now we can move on to the layers. Your layers can be animated on their Animations tab. Check them out by hovering over their names and pick one of them. If you change any of its settings, you see the animations happening on your slide. In the preview you can see that the animation happens as soon as the slide appears. But you can do it differently. Go to the More setting of your animation. Here you can see some more settings for your animation, and if you scroll lower, there are the Event settings. There is the list of events what you can choose to trigger this animation, such as when your mouse cursor enters the slide. Or you could just add the unique event name to trigger that using another layer. Now if you go to one of my layers like this Read More button, then from its Events tab, I can trigger my unique event, for example, by clicking this button. Let's see how it works. For my next example, I won't need this event, and I will need layer animations on multiple layers, so I'll just pick one for all of them. When you have more layers, you can handle them in the layer list. Here you can check out the selected layer animations on the timeline. You can even change their duration or move them to different starting points.
I won't need this animations for my next example. You can put your layers into one group, just select them by pressing the control button and click on the folder icon. This can be good because you can choose animation for the group as a whole instead of just separately for the layers. This is all you need to know about the layer animations. Now we can move on to the split text animations. The split text animations can be found in the settings of the heading layers. Similarly to the layer animations, they can bring your text in and move them out. However, they do it with special animations designed for texts. The last animation setting is the parallax effect for layers. This effect will make your layer react on the user's mouse cursor, and the depth is how much it will be affected. You can change the settings of this parallax effect to rather react on the page scrolling. And it will look something like this. That's it. Now you know every animation from Smart Slider 3. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.